Hello angling fans! We're out trout fishing today and I've brought along with me the Markham VS-485C underwater camera. Underwater cameras can be a very useful tool in an angler's arsenal, but I wouldn't consider them a critical piece of gear. In my opinion, underwater cameras have three main uses. Scouting for structure, verifying fish species, and studying fish behavior. The VS-485C is Markham's entry-level underwater camera. After owning this camera for over a year and using it in a variety of conditions, I have a few thoughts on it that I wanted to share with you. So why did I choose to buy the Markham over the arguably more popular Aquaview? Well, there are two reasons. Markham claims to use the best image sensor in their, in their camera housing. And I also like that this camera comes with a soft ballistic nylon case instead of the hard plastic case that the Aquaview does. I think this case provides more protection to the camera and any equipment that happens to be riding beside your camera in your sleigh. The Markham comes in this soft ballistic nylon case, which I quite like. You simply open up the Velcro on the flap, push these, unscrew these knobs in on the sides, push them in, flip the screen up, and now you have access to the back where there's the camera, cable, as well as uh, the cable keeper and the battery storage. When it comes to deploying the camera, I like to actually keep the cable coiled up using this little piece of Velcro. So I can undo the Velcro, pull the amount of cable out I need by hand and drop it in the hole. And when it comes time to pack up again, I simply wind the cable back up using the over under technique. If you're not familiar with that technique, you should become familiar with it because it saves so many, so much headaches as far as tangling the cable goes and line twist when deploying it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the camera. The 485C that I have here is a standard definition camera. And by today's standards, this is pretty outdated. I mean, even a 720p would perform better than standard definition. Um, so the camera itself has uh, the manta ray design. It has an LED light source on top. And the camera is sitting just below. Uh, it's designed to hang vertically in the water. Sorry, I should say. It's designed to say hang horizontally in the water. But to make it vertical, uh, it comes with this included extra fin. So you simply snap the fin onto the back, run the cable through. This little cable keeper on the back here. And now you can hang uh, vertically. The included fin is good uh, to have an extra camera position. It also would work um, in open water if you're trolling or drifting just to help keep the camera steady. I haven't tried that feature myself, but I hear it works well. Um, my only word of warning about this system is the body of this is now quite long with the fin installed. So if you're using a six inch auger, this might actually get stuck under the ice or you might have problems bringing it up. I use a 10 inch, so it's not something that I've run into myself. Um, just a word of warning. Okay. So with the manta ray camera system, I found that as I used it, water seemed to get inside of the housing. And at first this caused a little bit of concern for me, because as you know, once water starts to freeze, it actually expands. And I was worried that the expanding water would crack the housing maybe cause a leak over here by the cable at the top. So I contacted Markham's customer service and asked about it and they promptly responded and said it was normal. It was normal to have water inside the housing. Well, that does cause me a little bit of concern. Um, so what I end up doing after I use it for a little while is once I take it out of the water to prevent it from freezing, I'll actually turn it on its side and give it a little shake and kind of get that water 
out of the housing before I put it back in my sleigh and it has a chance to freeze. All right, so for my camera, I'm using the AquaView monopod because it's a nice motorized um, camera panner that'll rotate left and right on a little controller. Um, I prefer the AquaView over the Markham panner because the AquaView is actually raised up above the ice. So if you have any amount of flood water on the ice, the panner is not sitting directly in that. So I simply drop the camera in. I have my loop of cable here that I'll let some line out as it drops down. And then simply wrap the cable up around this, uh, the monopod. The most important consideration of any camera is image quality. The VS485C is not a high definition camera. And when you consider today's typical display resolutions of HD, 4K, even 8K becoming standard, to work with a display that's only standard definition is really just passable. So over the year that I've used this camera, I've used it in a variety of conditions. I've recorded quite a few clips and I'd like to share some of them with you now. Overall, the Markham VS485C, I think would get a rating of good enough from me. If you can see past some of the flaws of the manta ray housing, I think that this is a fine entry level camera that when on sale, won't feel like a big hit to the budget. I, I like the build quality of the screen and the case. I think they're both quite nice. I like the tactile buttons on the front of the unit. They're very easy to use. The menu system is not complicated. Um, and can easily be navigated with the push of a few buttons. Underwater cameras are a useful tool for finding structure, identifying fish, and even keeping kids entertained. And those are things you don't really need high definition for. That said, we live in an age when high definition is giving way to even higher definition, and trying to interpret images on a screen with such a low pixel count can be a bit frustrating. 
In my opinion, the demand for low definition cameras is drying up and budget underwater cameras such as these won't be available in two or three more years. If you can wait that long, HD cameras should come down in price to take their place. But if not, the VS485C still has something to offer. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. To see even more content, be sure to subscribe and also visit stringtheoryangling.ca. See you on the next one, anglers.